chess friends i am back with another blitz and bullet session so i'm going to play uh, five minute games here so all oh, right let's post a sick five minute okay so sick is posted five zero game let's see if i can find any good opponents and i prefer to play anonymously here on leeches.org because that way rating of my opponent cannot uh, influence me and also my rating cannot influence him so we are just playing chess uh, there is a five uh, minuted second sick available here let's play this five eight game Mm. let's go with this center gambit center game I'll try to gambit one pawn to get some nice attack on this square here on f7 so this uh, bishop uh, c4 move is designed to attack here on f7 square and my knight may jump to this square or this square here So there is a nice trick here. Now I'm going to show it to you. So this knight is supported by this bishop here. So now I can capture here safely because I am getting this bishop for this bishop. And that is really strange. So let's check it out. How I'm going to do it right now. My knight is attacking both queen and took. So he has to capture it now it seems that i am a piece down but uh, it is actually not uh, like that first i check here so oh, this bishop is now unsupported you can see i can capture it uh, with my queen so i even get my material back uh, his king is not mm, that safe cannot castle on either side and now he's trying to exchange what to do I can check first because this pawn is uh, under attack I rather prefer to castle now I can safely give up my queen as an exchange for his queen because now if he end passes then I capture with my knight and this pawn is well supported here if he doesn't then I bring over my rook here and then can capture this pawn then I can play b3 and bishop b2 now I am going to get rid of this pawn there is no way to defend this once he captures with knight b3 and then adding another attacker too he can bring his king over but that would be extremely dangerous now v3 so that way this rook also cannot get in easily here so he closed it uh, i can get this b3 move if i want after playing this move bishop to but i'm still waiting first uh, i develop my knight to a more central square here so then he has to save this one also and there are not many good ways to support this one also on d6 so well, let's try it out uh, try this out uh, it is extremely dangerous though if he moves his knight here then I may try something like g4 maybe but then he may take let g4 g4 pawn with his bishop attacking my rook once the knight moves so what to do now I can add another attacker now this is very smooth development if he ever pushes this pawn here, I'm not going to capture with this pawn. First, I 
take this pawn because uh, that pawn will be unsupported once uh, this pawn moves to d5 I can first capture this thing here now if I add this here where do the knight go I can go here or back and then I can play this move safely before he can capture with his bishop no way to bring any more support to this pawn and if this pawn or either uh, c or this uh, okay what to do i can support this first it would be bad i think capture this captures then i can capture this and then i can play this move or don't know what to do what if i move my knight deliver a check this will be supported by this bishop here now i get a free piece I have to lose my knight. Uh, that is not a big problem. Already have some extra pawns. Oh, if I am able to get rid of these two pawns for this knight, uh, that would be winning. Though this bishop is more dangerous now, uh, I have to take a bit uh, care of my king. My king position is not that good. What to do? Can move my knight here, here, and then here. But that is a long maneuver. I rather keep my rooks on an open file. There is only one open file, so now I. Now this pawn is also attacked by this bishop here. And I didn't want to move that knight unprovoked, so now this pawn is under attack. If he moves uh, this pawn here, then I can check here, or maybe even here, sacrificing one more pawn. Then my, I may enter with my rook here on e6 square, penetrating in. Then I can double my rooks here. So he did it. So after this move, there is only one legal move for his king here. So what to do now? Should I play this first? Yes, I will. Because if he goes here, then. I surely can move my king in to h2 square here on h2 I can move do this uh, but my knight is under attack so what to do first I check here then I can move my knight here or maybe my rook I think it's better somehow I'm going to get my pawn back I'm very sure about that there are a lot of weaknesses in his camp his rooks are not connected though this bishop is uh, really strong here but still my position is better he cannot move this rook 
oh sorry this spawn here and what I am going to do is simple thing I am going to double here and then move my knight here rook is going to attack this pawn and th if this pawn moves then this g5 pawn is going to fall because of this bishop attacking here on g5 so it's thinking so try to break in the center i need not do that I can safely capture here uh, even if I capture here it would not be a big problem uh, rather first attack is rook now I can check here there that's actually a mate there isn't my in this I think is a mate there isn't any square left so that's game over um, bye for now i am going to add few more blitz videos later see you bye bye and good luck with your chess